all the books. Hey, hey, it's time for book reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer for the Fast and Gaming System, created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to my 17th comic review of this vlog. Today I'm gonna continue Eldbrary Week by reviewing the comic titled Succubus, written by David Stoddhart and the art is drawn by Paul Holden. It started out as a comic strip in the Warhammer Monthly issue number 44. It's currently out of print and it doesn't have a front cover of its own so I can't review that. Let's see what this story is all about. None are more feared than the rich gladiators of the Dark Eldar. So this opens up right in the middle of a fight between our main succubus character, Lady Gisela, and some cultist of Sench. She has come to find some prisoners that they keep. She managed to outmaneuver one of her opponents, and she later decapitates him when he offers up the information that she wants of their location. When she finds the sorcerer's lab at a giant tower, she is attacked by what I can only imagine is a warped Eldar. However, she managed to decapitate that as well, and then later on comes across a chaos space marine of what I believe is the Thousand Sons. He orders her to be captured by his cultist. I'm not entirely certain what's going down after that, but I believe that she fires her gun and that rocks collapses in on them, leaving no survivors outside of the succubus. She kills the last of the cultists before she ventures into the lab where she finds her captured kin. I would imagine this is some older lore issues because one of the captured Dark Eldar praises Cain and to the best of my knowledge is that they don't believe or pray to any of the gods any longer. They are dead in the eyes of the Dark Eldar. But then comes the greatest twist as Drisella gives them a scolding for allowing themselves to be being captured alive. Any of the gladiators are to fight to the death and not be captured at all. She then continues on to promise that whatever the pain the monkey had promised, she will inflict far worse. So this comic is short and has a simple story with an impactful twist at the end as one would expect her to do one thing and turn on our heads. So I think that uh, this was a comic with a good story but a very weak art style. If they didn't have any dialogue, I wouldn't be able to tell that it was sentient cultist or that it was a dark elder even. So I will give this comic strip a 6 out of 10 fork and with that I will conclude this comic review. Thank you much for watching this comic review. See you around everybody. Bye bye.